In this episode of Piston Head Garage, we're going to show you how to restore your headlights. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Piston Head Garage. I'm Garrett and I'm going to show you today how to restore the headlights on your car. Of course, this is only for plastic headlights that will weather and they pit over time like you can see here. All this cloudiness, that's caused just from basically being outside in the weather. Now, I've never done this before, so I've taken the liberty of doing one on the other side to show you before and after, so you can kind of get an idea of what results you're going to expect. Also, uh, I've chosen to use a 3M headlight restoration kit. You can go out and buy all the materials yourself and do this your own way, put it together yourself, but I chose to use this kit just because it comes with everything you need and it allows you to use just a regular household drill to do the job. Um, so you've got a drill, this you supply yourself, the kit comes with this pad right here, you just stick it in the drill like that, and you're ready to go. Now it also includes several other pads that stick to this, like the buffing pad here for example, they just velcro on like that. But once you've got the kit and the drill, all you need aside from that is just some plain old water and a spray bottle. Uh, you may also want to get some microfiber cloths, um, but I find soft paper towel would work just fine. Now the first thing you're going to want to do before you start polishing is taping off all the areas around the headlight, like the bumper uh, and the, the eyebrow in this case, to make sure that you don't uh, damage these while you're doing your, your buffing. So the kit um, also comes with this uh, 3M masking tape. It's basically just painter's tape. Um, so we'll use that to mask around the area. So just, <clears throat> just take your time, get into all the cracks and all the crevices, and uh, we'll come back when I'm done. All right, now that we've got that done, the next thing you wanna do is clean the surface of the headlight. Now you could do this before or after this taping, it doesn't really matter, I just chose to do it after in this case. Uh, I'm just using regular Windex, just gonna spray it on some paper towel, and just wipe it down, just remove all the, any dust or dirt that might have built up over the, the last few months. I'm gonna start with the 500 grit disc, this is the gold disc in the 3M kit. Um, it's going to basically just cut down all the deeper scratches and any kind of pitting that might be in the lens. Just to warn you, this does make a lot of mess. Using light to medium pressure, sand the entire surface of the lens. Make sure you keep the drill moving at all times. Stopping in one spot can risk burning the lens. Clean the surface of the lens, checking for any remaining pitting or deep scratches. If any deep pitting or scratches remains, repeat the sanding process with the heavy grit sandpaper. Now, using the finer grit sandpaper, sand the entire surface of the lens once again. The finer grit sanding disc is used to remove the deeper scratches caused by the heavier grit sanding disc. Once again, clean the lens, checking for any deep scratches left by the heavy grit sanding paper. Keep sanding until you're left with only the fine sanding marks. Now you can switch to the super fine sanding pad. This is the equivalent to about 3000 grit sandpaper. The process is the same as before, except this time you want to keep the lens wet while you're sanding. After cleaning the lens one more time, you're ready to move on to the polishing pad. Apply a small amount of polish to the pad and use the pad to spread the polish across the lens. This will help keep the polish from splattering all over the place. The polishing process is pretty much the same as sanding. Keep the pad moving and cover the entire surface of the lens. Make sure you keep the polish on the lens and never let the pad run dry. Finally, remove the remaining polish with a clean microfiber towel. I'd also recommend applying a UV protectant to keep the lens from fading.
And there you have it guys, a quick and simple fix that can dramatically improve the look of your car for very little money. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My name is Garrett, and I will see you next time on Piss and Head Garage.